Yo, what is going on my husbandos and my foos? My name is Hermazar and welcome to another live reaction and review of Sword Art Online episode number 12. 22 titan of the sword now if you guys are excited make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell on boys so and once again uh, i do apologize that this live reaction review is uploaded really late life am i right but regardless i'm excited about this episode in the last episode chudelkin really asking queenella to get the fucking get the sloppy joes you know what i'm saying get in that we're gonna see in this episode if he is successful to defeating Kirito and UGO and Alice. Chances, hell nah, he ain't getting the. So, let's go. Dude, Chudelkin's a nasty little motherfucker. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling feeling Chudelkin. I think he sucks. Then again, Chudelkin kind of looks like me, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say that Chudelkin is hot. <laughs> I like how they changed the opening just because Alice is on their team now. That shit is fucking nasty, bro. Nasty in a good way. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys that I would choose Alice over Queenella any day. I know that that's also a discussion, right? Queenella or Alice? Queenella or Isabella from Promised Neverland? I don't know, man. Either way, they both can sacrifice me. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what's so funny about seeing this fire goblin thing? I started reading this manga uh, based on the firefighter anime that's coming out. I'm excited. 10 seconds? I mean, that's all they got. That's all they need. Yo, I'm gonna be real. Her sword is fucking sick as fuck. Come on, Alice. What is Kirito doing? Oh, so is he able to analyze where the weakness is? Oh, what's happening? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, man, it sounds like he's taking a shit. Oh! Chudelkin, that was a short-lived life, my boy. Really short. Holy fuck. Yo, that was so short. <laughs> he was all flexing, like, I'm invincible! I'm going to sleep with Queenella! Get the fuck out of here. I bet she's like, at least I don't have to sleep with him no more. Shit. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Pontifex, Pontifex, baby girl! What is poppin', dude? <laughs> I would have done the same thing too. Queenella. Queenella. She can be my queen. <laughs> hey! Call me King Arms Art. <laughs> We're totally straying away from the anime. I'm sorry. Can, can she just destroy me instead? I mean, so look, look, man. Queen Ella is all snack, all fucking laid out like a full course meal. So did she technically make love to like Alice too? No, no, it was forced upon her by Chudelkin. Damn, she's so fucking unfazed, dude. I don't shit. Okay, look. Okay, what we see here is three knights. And Quinella, right? Sitting there, up in the air, obviously naked, right? What would your boy do in this situation? Question of the day. Let me know what you guys would do in this situation right here. How did she fix him? Did she just give him the good chef boy RD? Pain makes you stronger. I like that. If you don't take her love, I'll take the love for you. She can, you know, give it to me. Kirito is like just standing there like a fucking boss. That's kind of scary to think about it. I mean, Kirito, you should know that. Like, fuck it. If our world is... Oh, every time she moves, every time she talks, my heart hurts. Uh, if you could trample over me, please. She's gonna show us something? Is is it gonna be hot? Yo, for people who are watching the uh, non crunchyroll version, can you let me know if she's censored? I need to know. Is this the golden thing that we saw in the opening? Ooh, there it is! But that's just one. She only has one? Will that be able to be take on the dark territory? Just one of these? Oh, I love the way she laughs at me. I love it. <laughs> so she summons this big ass thing thinking that it's gonna fucking defeat Kirito the master of dual swords Yeah, dude. Just give Kirito two swords, dude. That's the only way. It's so slow though. Oh 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 No, oh no, you 
UGO, you fucked up, bro. You fucked up. You let her die. UGO, UGO, UGO. My oh my oh. At least let Alice die of Queenella, not of that thing. Oh, come on, you. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll save my complaints for the review. I'll save my complaints for the review. It's not more so the story plotting, just the mindset of Kirito. Oh. They have a spider! Oh, damn. Tell me why this spider is just as strong as this thing. Come on, this spider's doing more damage than all of you guys. Spider saved your life. Oh, the spider. <laughs> oh, no, not the spider. <laughs> why, does it, why am I feeling so bad for a spider? What the fuck? Oh, it's the lolly. Shit, man. I, I feel like people would be torn between the lolly or the fucking naked snack that's right in front of them. Yes, trust the lolly, but also trust the other Pontifex a snack. Oh, that poor spider, man. Damn, that spider's so old, 200 years. I like how Queen Ella's just letting them talk, not attacking. If that was me, man, if I was the bad person, I'd be straight up attacking. Oh, now, now it's the actual match? Mmm, 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 let's talk about it. Mmm, let's talk about it. <laughs> So both of their opponents, let me just, let, we're, we're, we're gonna get straight into it. So both of their opponents, the Soulless Slaughter. So like the Soulless Slaughter or whatever the fuck she calls it. That, it was short lived. Same thing with Chudelkin. Chudelkin's life was short lived and that hit his little fire goblin. That shit, that shit ended so fast. <laughs> and the thing is, things that pissed me off is that Yu-Gi-Oh, he was so scared. He, Alice sacrificed herself for him. Though, of course, she was able to come back at Sword Art Online. Come on. And then Kirito, I feel like he tried way harder with Chudelkin's thing. With Chudelkin defeating him versus he did with the Soulless Slaughterer thing. It could also mean because, like, whatever art he used takes a lot of energy from him. Because we saw him, like, really beat after using it that one time against Chudelkin. It was a one-hit KO. But other than that, it was kind of just like, he wasn't trying as hard, I kind of feel. Damn, I feel like he, he would have just bodied everything in just two hits. But regardless, like, the two enemies that were fighting, that they were fighting, it was really short-lived. A lot of this episode is mostly, is mostly dialogue of Quinella talking about how she honestly this is just more so like understanding what's in the pontifex's mind more so like she does not give a fuck she will sacrifice people she will create things i don't know she'll trample over hermzar trample over yo she could trample all over me i'm still on that question of the day my boys but yeah, this episode is mostly just on the side of Quinella, understanding that she does not give a fuck about anybody. She will force people to forget their memories. She did it with Berkuli. She did it with that other guy. But I love the fact that one of the strongest statements in this episode was that pain is what makes them feel human. Even though the Pontifex herself is running away from pain and she is trying to get away from like human emotion, Alice recognizes the fact that because of pain is what makes her strong and makes her human and that she needs that pain. And Quinella is just running away from it. One thing that I completely forgot is I guess she did the same thing to her own self just so she can become stronger but it doesn't erase the past. What Quinella is hoping is that it erases her past, but it doesn't. I feel like Yujo couldn't even say much in this episode because he was just so shocked to hear that Kirito is from another world, right? And I like how Kirito was saying that the people from the other world have absolute power. If they wanted to delete this world, they would delete this world. They could be like, it's a fail, press the delete button. And the fear on Yujo and Alice's face when they heard that, because that means Kirito has a lot, a lot of power. Though he stressed the fact that he he was given the same authority power as everyone else in this world that he is not stronger than anyone but it's still wild to see kirito actually admit the fact that he's from another world i mean they were they were going to ha find out either way but it's still like it's blown blowing me back this episode was done really well regardless of how short those fights were they were short-lived my boys but we got to see alice become like the snack that she is and the pontifex being the full course meal that she can possibly be god damn i wish like Someone like her would be floating in front of me naked telling me that I'm going to die. 
God, is that you? Anyways, guys, that is my review for Sword Art Online. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that'll help me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. Once again, I do apologize for this being late. Um, there was a lot going on, but I know you guys are really enjoying my live reaction for this, and I I appreciate every single one of you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, my boys. Um, you guys don't know how much you mean to me. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.